Let's take a closer look at some of the plays Sammy Whitcomb was involved in on the defensive side in this edition of Nets Republic Seafoam Film Study. Whitcomb initially begins this sequence as the on-ball defender, but our analysis begins the moment the ball is swung to the opposite wing. Notice that Whitcomb points in the direction the play is going even before Kia Nurse sets the cross screen for Brittany Griner. With the Liberty's Benajah Laney denying the entry pass, Whitcomb will move out to the three-point line until her teammate can recover to Nurse before she comes back to help with the double on Griner. While it still results in two points for the Mercury, this is a good preview of how active Whitcomb is when it comes to directing traffic and making reads. Here's another example of the Mercury prioritizing a post look for Griner, but this time they successfully get the entry in. However, watch as Whitcomb applies a quick double on the catch and is there waiting as soon as Griner spins towards the basket. Wickham does a great job of getting her hands on the ball without fouling. Also notice how despite Skylar Diggins-Smith pointing for Griner to hit Nurse in the corner, the Liberty's Rebecca Allen effectively splits the difference, giving Wickham the confidence and the time to make a play. Before the Diggins-Smith and Griner PNR sets up, Wickham is again directing traffic from the opposite corner. There may have been some miscommunication on the Liberty side, or it could just be a good counter from the Mercury offense, but Brianna Turner gets open on a dive cut. Wickham is able to pick it up in time and give a good contest, but unfortunately also gives up size and the resulting bucket. As accurate as it was for Mercury broadcaster Ann Myers Drysdale to refer to Wickham as a cornerback, it may have even been more correct for the term free safety to have been used. Wickham's ability to roam center field, or in this case the opposite corner, and break on balls was key in the Liberty's 26-14 first quarter. Before the highlight of the sequence, notice how Whitcomb is again pointing and likely verbally assisting Kylie Shook. My guess is that she wants Shook to be ready for a post up on the opposite block or for penetration from the corner. Now the moment Nurse brings it back to the top of the arc, Griner sets up shop in the middle of the paint. Nurse fakes a pass to the pin down screen on the right wing, but Wickham doesn't fall for it and perfectly anticipates the entry pass for an impressive steal. Now this could be my favorite sequence from the list of games we're taking a look at. First, Wickham helps on the initial denial on the Griner post up, and when Phoenix doesn't like what it sees, the team will swing the ball to the opposite wing and try to get a better angle on the entry. The Mercury attempt a PNR to get Nurse a look, but Laney and Onyenwere will switch on it and once this occurs, Phoenix will clear out for the entry, and the second that happens, Whitcomb is ready to help on Griner's opposite hip. Now when the ball is reversed to the right wing, Whitcomb is in scramble mode, but she will give Laney a slight nudge to force the switch on the perimeter, and on the dribble penetration, Whitcomb will go under the screen and call for another switch to pick up the ball handler. With time winding down, Phoenix has to throw up a quick shot at the rim and New York comes away with the rebound and the defensive stop. Last sequence, and this would make anyone that has played in the secondary of a football game proud, watch as Whitcomb sneaks into the paint immediately upon Griner catching the ball. However, Whitcomb won't make her move until Griner does, but as soon as the Mercury Center makes this move, Whitcomb is on the scene and violently rips the ball away. Wickham finished the game with 14 points and 6 assists and was a solid fill-in for additional ball handling duties, but it was the guard's defensive IQ and ability to make Griner uncomfortable despite giving up nearly a foot in height that helped the Liberty snap a 3-game losing streak.